Hey YouTube, James here. We're in my backyard. I'm going to take a few minutes to show you how to make a compost tea maker. It's very simple and very inexpensive. All the materials I bought cost me less than $30. Don't have to go out and buy several hundred or even several thousand dollar compost tea makers to make your compost tea. The design I'm going to be using today is based off Bruce Dooley's design. Uh, he is a radio personality out of San Antonio, Texas that is very big on doing things the natural way. He actually competed with somebody else who had like an $8,000 compost tea maker against his $25 five gallon bucket tea, compost tea maker. And the guy with the $8,000 won, but only by a few microbes. So really save yourself, you know, the $7,000 such, such amount and go ahead and build this. You're going to need the following things five gallon bucket uh, and a, preferably a lid. You don't necessarily need the lid but they are sold separately so you're going to pay about four bucks for the bucket and about two bucks for the lid. You then need to go to the fish uh, pet store area in either Walmart or pet store or anything like that. You'll want to get yourself an air pump. You'll want preferably to get one that has two outlets two five inch air stones, two one inch air stones, two tea connectors, one package carries two so you only need one package, a 25 foot length of aquarium hose, this hose is a quarter inch hose, it's a standard. You'll also want to go into either Lowe's, Home Depot, or any hardware store and get yourself a couple of one gallon paint strainer bags. Walmart does not sell these anymore, so don't even bother asking. None of them carry it. Alrighty, you'll need scissors and you'll need a drill with a quarter inch bit. Let's go ahead and make this here. So, in the top, you want to go ahead and drill yourself a quarter inch hole. That simple, wasn't complicated. Then, in just below the rim here, you want to go ahead and make sure that on your bucket you're going to have enough room that if you put two holes in there, it's not going to get in the way. That's not going to be the case for this bucket here. So I'm going to put two holes about maybe half an inch apart. Okay, so here we go. You see me there? There we go. There's my one hole. And there's my second hole. So I've made my three holes that I need in a matter of moments. Then go ahead, take out your aquarium pump. Now, one thing I prefer, Bruce mentions this as well, on your aquarium pump, not only the, the issue of having two air holes out there, but on the back, some of them have a little loop for connection purposes to keep it from bouncing off a table or to hang it from a wall. This is good to have because then when you put your compost in your paint strainer, you can actually bring it up through the lid and tie it onto your pump. Okay, so we're going to take out our pump, take out our tubing, stretch it out, okay, Alrighty. 25 feet is pretty long but it will give you more than enough that you, that you need. Got your T connectors. So I can get them out of this bag. There we go. Set your T connectors aside because you're going to need those. Your one inch air stones. Your five inch air stones. Take them out, set them aside. Now, some air stones you'll see that they're all stone, no plastic, doesn't matter. You can use either one. You're not using these forever. Eventually, you will have to throw them away because they will build up a certain amount of bacteria and such. But they will last you, depending on how often you do it, they will last you a year or more easily. Last one out for you here. There we go. OK. 
Okay. Alrighty. Now we're going to get the scissors out. And the first thing we're going to do is take a T connector. Put the center T connection on your line. Push it in as best as you can. It does have a barb connection to it, so the more you push it in, the tighter it's going to get. Put that down in your bucket and add yourself a few more feet so that you can come out of the hole. In fact, what we can do at this point is actually put it in the hole so we have it in there. Put your T-connector on. Drop that down in your bucket. Give yourself enough room that you can drop this out and connect it to your aquarium pump. Cut it with your holes. Okay. Connect the first line to your pump so it's there. Out of your way. Take your holes. The T-connector, connect another one. Now here you're not going to need, need that long of a link. Just enough to be able to connect your other stone and have it lay comfortably down in your bucket. So six inches, about. Cut that. Push that onto the stone. Set that aside. Connect to the other T. Another six inches, six to eight inches or so. Cut it. Connect your other stone. Now you have one line running from your aquarium pump to the T connector, from the T connector to your two stones. You put those stones down into your compost tea maker. They lay flat, separate them, and you're good there. Then you're going to connect another line inside here. This line does not have to be as long necessarily, but I would still make it a good length because once you're done with the stones in the bag, you're going to drop those stones back in after you've taken the bag out, and it's pretty good to let them hang uh, halfway or at least more than halfway. Okay, so we pulled this in here. We're going to grab our other T connector. We're going to connect our other T-connector in the dead center so that we have a place to connect our two one-inch stones. Okay, Here, we're going to go ahead and we want a, another decent length only because we're going to go out to there. Uh, cut it, let's see, let's see, cut it roughly about here. Don't, don't have to be precise, just as long as you're getting where you need to go. Connect this to the aquarium pump, the air pump of course, it's not a water pump, it's an air pump. Then we're going to go ahead, take the T-connector, connect another line. I suggest connecting the line while you haven't cut it yet because one, you know, you're going to get an idea of the length and two, it's so much easier to connect a long piece than it is to take a little tiny piece and try to shove it in there and everything like that. It won't bend on you as much. Then I'm going to go about another six inches there. I'm going to cut that off, take my one inch stone, push that down in there as best as you can. Try not to break your stone, it's, it's, uh, it is porous, it will break off if you're too rough with it. Okay, so I got that connected, then I'm going to come down here, grab another piece, connect it to the other TN. Come out about another, oh, four to six inches or so, and cut that. Take the other one inch air stone, push that in the best you can without breaking anything. And there we go. This is the end that's going to go into your compost tea bag when you're ready to make compost tea. And that, that's your uh, one inch stones, your eight inch stones. Come in here. Connect your bucket, put your aquarium there, plug it in, add your water, you're fine. 
I'm going to make another uh, video that's actually going to show you how to make compost tea when it comes to the formula and everything like that. Uh, have any questions, uh, go ahead, send it to me down below. Please uh, subscribe and rate down below. And if you want to be able to print this design and how to make this, all you have to do is look up for Bruce Dooley's website and he actually has a PDF file that you can print up on this. But as you can see, it's quick, it's simple, and it's only about $30. Well, thank you and good gardening.